Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see who and or what is coming toward you in love during April of 2022. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. So feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what or who is coming toward you during April. We have soulmates. Rebuilding. The Knight of Cups along with the King of Wands. And we also have Brick Wall. And Cleanup. All right. So there's a lot going on here in regards to what's coming toward you in April. Now, a lot of you will have a soulmate coming in. This is going to be a very harmonious partnership. It's going to be a very powerful and divine love between the two of you. This person is going to be a part of your soul group. It was meant for you to meet this person. And the bond between the two of you is going to help you grow, okay? I do see that you guys are going to be rebuilding. You could be rebuilding in regards to rebuilding your heart or rebuilding your um your love life after a connection went sour, okay? I do also see that um Spirit wants you to continue putting in that effort in order to rebuild your life. A lot of you, um, this soulmate that comes in, they're going to be investing or willing to invest a lot of effort to make things work with you. But at the same time, I feel as though for a lot of you, there is someone that's going to try to block this connection, okay? Now, with brick wall being here, again, someone's going to try to block the connection. There are obstacles that are trying to um, prevent this soulmate from coming in. And I feel as though it's energetic blockages. And for some of you, um, either this person from your past or someone that doesn't want you want to let you go is going to energetically block the connection because they don't want to see you with someone else. Or it could be this person literally trying to stand in the way of you being with someone else, like all of a sudden they'll, they may come in trying to pursue you aggressively. Okay. But yeah. Um, also keep in mind that people from your past that things didn't work out with spirit, God blocked those people for your highest good. I feel as though these were people that you were not going to be able to make progress with. They were not growing. So spirit is encouraging you to um, continue to move forward because it's time to do something different. Okay. If you want different, you have to move differently. So those of you that are doing that, this is just confirmation for others of you. If there's someone that is kind of hard to let go of, spirit is letting you know that this person right now they're unable to make progress in their life so spirit wants you to block or is encouraging you to block this person out it's time to clean up okay sweep away any type of negative um situations in your life whether it's people negative emotions anything such as that a lot of you are doing this now you have put up a brick wall in regards to anyone from your past Others of you may feel like you're hitting a brick wall whenever you try and clean up your past or get people out of your energy, okay? I feel like a lot of you are having a hard time. It seems to be two groups of you. Some of you um, have blocked someone from your past, whether you actually blocked them or you just put up a wall, set up boundaries. And others of you, I feel as though you feel like every time... You try to leave this person. It's like you're hitting a brick wall. It's hard to get rid of them. Spirit also wants you guys to work on decluttering your mind. Some of you have a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on in your mind. And Spirit also wants you to simplify your life by getting rid of anything that you don't need. Any kind of clutter in your house. Any clutter in your space. Get more organized because it's going to help you think more clearly. So, yeah, I also I feel like for some of you um, being organized, having your home organized, it's going to help you in a in a major way. Not saying that you guys have, you know, dirty homes or anything like that. But, you know, sometimes we let clutter build up or, you know, there are times where we don't 
we're not always organized like we need to be. And so spirit is urging you to make sure that you get organized because for some of you, it's something within your home or your environment that is causing blockages or causing delays in your life, okay? Hmm, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here. But yeah, there's someone that this new person, they're gonna be coming in. I do feel as though they're gonna be very romantic or this person is gonna be very charming. The two of you will definitely be attracted to each other. But like I said, there's someone that... <sighs> It's like there's someone from your past that is determined not to let anyone else have you or to not see you move forward with anyone else. This is, it's really weird energy. So you have two people here, okay? You have two different people here. Um, one of these people, which I feel as though is the new person, they're coming in offering you their cup, okay? They're open to love. But I feel as though you have this person from your past that it's like even though they don't do what they need to do in order to make the connection work they still want to stand in your way of happiness because they don't want to see you with anyone else this is sad but yeah um for a lot of you, like I said, this con this new connection is going to be coming in for you. But when it comes in, I feel as though you guys are going to feel like it's too good to be true. I do see you setting up boundaries, okay? I also see you being a little guarded. But Spirit wants you to keep in mind that it's important for you to think positively about the new love that's coming in. Also... I feel like a lot of you have been played with so much in the past. Some of you just want to be single. Others of you are ready for love. But I feel as though as soon as you give your attention to someone, you end up regretting it. But spirit is or spirit wants you to know that everything is happening the way that it's supposed to. Everything is going in your favor and your love life is going to get better. So spirit is urging you to continue moving forward. Also, um, some of you think about the past a lot, okay? There may be times where you really reminisce about everything that went wrong in the connection. Spirit is also letting you know here that whoever wronged you, whoever hurt you, okay? They're gonna be receiving some type of karma, but in order for them to get their karma you have to move forward because spirit doesn't want you to um spirit doesn't want you to be a part or to take on any of this negative karma coming toward this person this past person i feel like whoever hurt you they're going to be suffering um a lot of loss possibly in regards to their success their abundance for some of you um whoever they're giving attention to they're going to end up losing that person okay Hmm. But it's like some of you, um, those of you that haven't completely moved on, it's like you're delaying this person's karma. You're delaying it. And it's mainly because if you keep accepting this person back or if you c continue communicating with them, if you continue dealing with them, you know, you could end up being affected by this person's karma. So that's why spirit is urging you to move forward. Um, things are going to get better for you. I do see a lot of different options coming in, but spirit also wants you to be patient and to take your time. This new love, like I said, it's going to be divine and you're going to feel as though you are receiving wish fulfillment. I see you being very comfortable around this new person. I also see that um, this new person... When they come in, they may feel as though you're too good to be true as well. But I feel like the love between the two of you is going to be very satisfying. So for those of you that have been pouring into yourself, um, doing the healing work, those of you that have been focusing on self-love, okay, being fulfilled within yourself, there's new love coming in for you. Also, spirit wants you to use good judgment when it comes to anyone that walked away from you or if you walked away from them because those past people are going to be coming in with a new offer, giving you attention, wanting to come together, wanting to make things work. But spirit is urging you to turn your back on the past. It needs to be at an end, okay? It needs to end completely in order for you to have a rebirth within your love life. Now, for some... 
if you've already ended things with this person, there's going to be someone that comes in a very, very strong connection and it's going to be healing for you. And this person is also going to reciprocate your energy. So spirit wants you to hold back from pouring in into anyone that isn't pouring into you or anyone that is not reciprocating your energy. Anyone coming in with a lot of burdens, okay? Spirit wants you to hold back from those people. So there's two different people at least coming in for you. One is from the past. This person's going to come in like they want to give you a solid offer, but really they're just looking for a good time or you're going to feel like the two of you are more like friends than lovers. And there's this new person that's coming in that is going to be a divine love and it's going to be a very satisfying connection. So it's very important for those of you that are still somewhat attached to the past person. It's important for you to weigh your pros and cons because there's going to be a lot of growth with this new person. Okay, a lot of growth. But see, you have to plant the seed first with the new person. Okay, well, first you have to completely end things with the past person. Completely let that person go. Because it's like they're delaying a new start for you. They're delaying a rebirth within your love life. And for some of you, they're just stalling because they don't want things to end with you. It's like there's someone that is just determined to be in your life. Regardless of what they have to do, regardless of what they have to say. And that person could end up, um, if you allow them in your life, they could end up um, just taking you through a vicious cycle, a repetitive cycle. Because a lot of you have already learned the lessons. You already know that this person, they play a lot of games. They can't be trusted. This is someone that may even be narcissistic. So it's like you've learned the lesson. So now it's time to make a final judgment call and apply them. Because if you don't, this person is just going to continue playing with you. And for some of you, it's like this person feels as though um, this past person, they feel like, like either that they can change your mind if you were to try and leave them behind or like they can either get away with anything or that they always get their way or that they have the final say so that's what type of energy this is someone thinking that they have the final say so over your life it's crazy this is crazy Oh, this new person that comes in, though, like I said, there's a lot of happiness and a lot of fulfillment. This person is going to be single and it looks like they're going to be very successful as well. This is someone that may be popular or they're just very um, confident. But I see this person, I see you having their full attention, their full attention. I also feel like um, because you're so independent, that's what's also going to attract this person to you because I feel like they may have been used in the past. They may have been used with, by someone or people um, tend to get involved with this person for what they can provide for them or something like that for all of the wrong reasons. So it's like... You being independent, it's going to attract this person to you. Wow. Okay. So let's see what else comes out here. There's so much going on. This past person is kind of annoying, especially for those of you that want to move forward. Because look, even at the bottom of the deck, we have the world card and delays. So for some of you, there's a cycle that needs to be completed with someone because it's going to delay your love life if you do not. And others of you have completed a cycle, but you may be getting a little frustrated because of delays or you may feel as though things are, um, you know, like true love just isn't coming in for you. OK, but it's important to be patient and to persevere. For some of you, this new love may have already come in. So anyone that comes in trying to sabotage that spirit is saying, sweep them out of the way, clean them up. All right. So let's see what else comes out. Give me more. 
let's see this let me use this that give me more please holy spirit in regards to what what or who is coming toward my viewers and love during april of 2022 who and or what is coming toward my viewers in love during april of 2022 two more shuffles Okay, so let's see what comes out here. All right, so we have love, romantic feelings, mutual attraction. Someone is going to have a lot of feelings for you. This is this new person. So they're going to come in open to love, okay? Open to love. And like I said, I feel like this person has been used or hurt in their past. So they are rebuilding too. But the bond is going to help both of you grow. Okay. But the attraction between the two of you will be mutual. But I feel like for some of you, when the new person comes in, it's going to put you in your head a little bit. It's like you may um, not be sure about it or it's going to seem, they're going to seem so perfect. It's going to make you think twice which everyone has flaws, but I feel like this person is going to portray a lot of the characteristics that you've been looking for in your love life, okay? Give me more. What or who is coming toward my viewers and love? Thank you. So we have coldness, absence of love, love life is blocked, frozen in some area of your life, emotions buried deep within. So for some of you, when it comes to you guys, some of you... There's someone from, from your past, because the star card is at the bottom of the deck, someone that's going to want to recover a connection with you, but you don't even feel like this person truly loves you, okay? Or you're going to, for some of you, you've fallen out of love with this person, or you feel like there's just blockages between the two of you. So, yeah, there's someone that's going to come in with all this passion, like they really want to be with you, someone from the past, but really they're not even emotionally available. It's like they, it's almost like they like the chase. They see someone else being interested in you. So here they come like, wait a minute, let me block this. That's mine. That's what type of energy this is. I feel like this person's possessive over you or... I just feel like they don't want to see you loving anyone else the way that you love them. Give me more. What else is coming toward my viewers in love? Thank you. So we have contracts. Okay. So you do have spiritual contracts with um, both of these people, actually. But that person from the past, I feel as though this person's going to come in wanting to make things official with you. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be off. You're going to feel as though something isn't right about it. Now, some of you, there's you may feel an absence of love from this person. Or you may feel as though you're falling out of love with them. Because the contract has been completed. I feel like if you were to get involved with this person. It's like you wouldn't be happy. I feel like misery loves company. This person is miserable. They're a hot mess. So they would project that energy onto you. It would be a very messy and chaotic um, partnership or relationship. I also feel like um, this past person, if you were to accept them back, and those of you that are still dealing with them, if you were to try and make it work, it's like your mind is going to be cluttered. You're not going to feel um, that you have clarity you may notice your life being a little bit more chaotic, your emotions being a little more all over the place. Huh. Give me more. What's coming toward my viewers in love during April of 2022? Thank you. All right. So we have Owl. And that came out on the new love side. Okay. Because we have two sides here. New love and we have past love. So I feel as though this um, past person, they've learned a lot of hard lessons in regards to love as well. This is someone that has a lot of inner wisdom. They could also be spiritual. Now for some of you, this person, I feel as though they have had to do a lot of deep shadow work as well in regards to their love life. They've learned a lot of hard lessons. Hmm. 
We also have the world card. So there's going to be an ending and a new beginning. So some of you are going to be completing a cycle. And once you complete the cycle with this past person, if you haven't already, you're going to notice a lot of fulfillment and success coming in for you. So this ending with this past person is going to bring in a new beginning with the new person. But completing the cycle with them is going to determine because some of you have completed the cycle and you're just waiting. Okay, you're just waiting for that new person to come in. Some of you have already met them, but while your waiting spirit is urging you to prepare yourself, make sure that you're ready. You need to be, you know, focusing on and putting self-love first, but you're going to be getting some very good news soon. And others of you are going to be experiencing delays because you haven't completed a cycle with someone from your past. So... But any pace is good pace, okay? Everyone, you know, everyone completes their cycles at different times. So don't be discouraged. But I'm just letting you know what you will get with that past person. It's all a facade. They just see you as a challenge. It's almost like they, they, they just don't want to see you go anywhere. They don't want to see you dating. They don't want to see you being happy with someone else. This is really sad, though, on this behalf. But you have new love coming in that's going to be amazing, okay? Amazing. There are no negative cards on the side of the new person. For some of you, the new person, um, they, there could be an age difference between the two of you. You could be older than them or they could be older than you. But I don't want to list um, or say any signs because... Um, you know, this is all energy and it's more important to know the characteristics because the signs, the zodiac sign of the new person coming in is going to be different for everyone. All right. So I'm definitely going to do an extended reading on this for those of you that are mystic VIP, or if you want to become a mystic VIP, there will be a link to the extended reading in the comment section below. So you can go there. Also keep in mind um, that you can view all of the extended readings that I post on the membership tab of my channel and also on the homepage of my channel. If you click perks, if you are a mystic VIP, all of the extended readings will be there. Okay. So yeah, um, so that's the reading, guys. If you resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.